Hello children, uh, I decided to discuss some company account adjustments, uh, especially those who are doing exam in 2023 year, you have very few months for your exam and company account is always hard and again this is your question number one and this question is compulsory also, you need to get 40 marks for this question. Therefore, uh, I decided to discuss some company account adjustments one by one. Uh, after watching these videos, you may feel company account is not hard because most of the time my children, my students, they don't tell company account is hard. So, company account is hard if you don't know how to do your calculations properly. You need to understand theories as well as how to do these calculations. So, these are the things I am planning to discuss with you all. Income tax, then lease, property plant and equipment, uh, dispo under that disposal of non-current assets and again revaluation of non-current assets, uh, property plant and equi equipment table, right? Property plant and equipment table you should know how to prepare. Then again provision for warranty and bonus issue and the right issue and again contingent liabilities. So, I am planning to uh, explain all these adjustments one by one with the meaning and again some explanations. So, these are the most important transactions if not most important adjustments for your exam. Uh, definitely if you watch these videos from the beginning, you, need, you can understand uh, all these adjustments and uh, you can get good marks also for your question number one with uh, much confidence also because I am planning to uh, discuss some questions also. So, after watching these videos, you can check, uh, you can do past paper questions alone. Uh, so, let us go to first one. First one is uh, income tax, right? So, income tax adjustment always children tell income tax is hard. You may fed up company accounts because of income tax. Uh, but children, uh, let us discuss today income tax. After that, I am pretty sure you will not say income tax is hard. So, income tax will be hard if you do not understand these things. So, you need to understand estimated income tax, tax paid, provision for income tax, then again over provision or under provision and again tax payable or tax receivables. So, if you can understand these things, income tax adjustment is not hard. The reason is you do not know the meaning and how to do the calculations properly for these things. That is why always you complain uh, income tax adjustment is hard. So, first let us discuss all these five terms and again how to do the calculation because this is one of the compulsory adjustments children in your question paper. If you check past papers from 2012 to 2022, each and every year we can see one adjustment from this income tax. Okay, so let us discuss how to get the full marks for this income tax adjustment. Then uh, income tax is paid based on uh, you have to calculate income tax actually children we are discussing here uh, public limited companies you know for your exam you will be given a question uh, for a public limited company. So then for this public limited companies you should know how to calculate income tax. So, based on the company's profit, they need to pay tax and again that is based on quarterly basis. So, you need to understand what is this quarter, right? So, then uh, first let us go to first concept estimated income tax, right? So, this estimated income tax means simply this is the meaning estimated income tax, income tax for the year. income tax for the year. This is the meaning of estimated income tax. So, even if I tell like this, you do not understand it properly. We will assume children, if you are doing your exam 2023 year, so you are getting your question for 2022 to 2023. So, this is how we calculate accounting year if not financial year for a public limited company. Always it starts uh, first April, right? Your accounting period should start first April. Uh, so, starting first April 2022 and again ending 31st March, 31st 
31st March 2023, right? Your period starts 1st April 2022 and ending 31st March 2023. So, here to here, there are 12 months of period, right? Here to here, there are 12 months. So, these 12 months, we need to divide into 4 quarters. Keep in mind, children, 1 quarter, 3 months. That means, if not, uh, you can keep in mind there are 4 quarters per year. You keep in mind there are 4 quarters per year. This is quarter 1, quarter 2, 3 and the 4. Right? So, then there are 4 quarters. You need to calculate income tax for these 4 quarters. In your question paper, they will give you this income tax uh, for the year answer. If not, income tax for this period answer will be given. So, uh, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter and fourth quarter. Uh, now, you know the first concept. First concept is estimated income tax. So, estimated income tax means income tax for the year answer. So, income tax for the year means there are 12 months, if not 4 quarters, income tax for this 4 quarters, right? So, then uh, they will give this answer like this way. There are two ways to give this estimated income tax, if not income tax for the period answer. They can say like this, they can mention income tax liability for the year. So, this is one method children, they can mention income tax liability for the year 2022 and 23. That means income tax liability for the year. Right? So, this is one method. As I mentioned, your accounting period starts uh, 1st April 2022 and ended 31st March 2023. Right? For this period, income tax liability, this is one way they can give you. So, this is your estimated income tax answer. Okay? This is your estimated income tax answer. Then again, the second method, they can give you how much they have paid for this period. It is like this way children. As I mentioned, we pay income tax based on every quarter profit. Right? We have to estimate and pay our income tax. So, at the end of first quarter, we calculate profit based on that we estimate and pay during second quarter. First quarter income tax, right? First quarter income tax, they will pay second during second quarter, okay? First quarter income tax should be paid within, within the second quarter. Then children, second quarter income tax, second quarter income tax, they will pay uh, during third quarter. Then again, third quarter income tax, you need to pay during fourth quarter. Then what about fourth quarter? Fourth quarter income tax, you are unable to pay within this I count in period because I count in period is ending 31st March 2023. So, fourth quarter income tax, you will have to pay during next quarter. That means children, next year first quarter. Is it clear? This year, last quarter income tax, you will have to pay next year first quarter. If so, last year, right, the last year, last quarter income tax, right, last year, last quarter income tax, we need to pay within the first quarter of this period. So, first quarter we pay. Last year, last quarter income tax. Children, the estimated income tax and tax paid mean two different things, right? Estimated income tax means income tax for the year. So, income tax answer for this 12 months of period. If not simply, income tax for four quarters, right? So, then uh, as I mentioned, one method they will mention that is the income tax liability for the year like that uh, your current year. They according to our example, 2022 and 23 year. That answer will be given, right? So, if they give like this, then your question is easy. But sometimes, if you check past papers like 2018 year, they have not given like this. So, the second method they have used to give you estimated income tax answer, right? That second method is, uh, they say, 
600,000 paid for the previous year. So, as I explained here, last year, last quarter income tax they pay during this year, first quarter, right? So, that answer and again what they have paid for uh, first three quarters. If not, I'll explain like this. So, we can pay uh, income tax first quarter, this year first quarter, uh, during second quarter. And the second quarter income tax will be paid during third quarter. And the third quarter income tax will be paid in fourth quarter. Then fourth quarter one they have to pay during next year first quarter. So then according to this, we can pay maximum three quarters within this year. Related to this year, we can pay only three quarters. That means children first three quarters of this year, right? And again, this last quarter amount, right? This last quarter amount, we will have to estimate and uh, calculate. We will have to this last quarter income tax, we will have to estimate. When we prepare financial statements, we estimate uh, whatever the amount that we will have to pay related to last quarter. Then we can say the estimated income tax paid amount for first three quarters as well as estimated amount for uh, last quarter. We can say like that also, right? Income tax for the year, if not. Uh, here they say 600 paid for previous year and the payment for the first three quarters. If we know payment for the first three quarters and again income tax liability for the final quarter of current year. The total of these two also you can consider as estimated income tax. So, as I mentioned, estimated income tax means income tax for the year, right? As I mentioned, uh, estimated income tax means income tax for the year. For that 12 months of period, how much of income tax that you need to pay? That is the meaning. So, then that income tax, they can give like this either income tax liability for the year. If not, income tax paid for first three quarters right income tax paid for first three quarters as well as estimated amount for the final quarter right uh, either first method or second method you need to calculate your estimated income tax so if you want to check past papers as i mentioned 2018 question they have given second method but most of the time uh, if you check past papers they give you first method that means income tax liability for the year if not income tax for the year uh, if not estimated income tax for the year like that answers will be given uh, hope this is clear children the first one first one is estimated income tax estimated income tax means income tax for the year i prefer if you can write these notes with me uh, then it's easy to understand children later also when you want to study you can check these things you can write estimated income tax estimated income tax means income tax for the year so simply you can write like this uh, let's do a question also then you can understand further uh, then second one tax paid so already also i explained do we pay this tax amount so tax paid means as i explained here we will have to pay first three quarters income tax within our period because first quarter income tax uh, we pay during second quarter and again second quarter income tax we pay during third quarter and the third quarter income tax we pay during fourth quarter like that we can pay only three quarters of the current year then we can write a formula like this tax paid means uh, tax paid for tax paid for first three quarters tax paid for first three quarters plus as I explained earlier last year last quarter income tax also 
right last year last quarter income tax also we pay during first quarter of this year so then children we can write this one like this plus last year last quarter last year last quarter last year last quarter paid amount this is the meaning of tax paid tax paid mean tax paid for first three quarters right uh, within this year and again last year last quarter paid amount the total of these two is the answer for tax paid is it clear? So, how do we calculate tax paid dancer children? How do we calculate tax paid for first three quarters of this year plus last year last quarter paid amount? Okay, first three quarters of this year plus last year last quarter answer. So, this is how we calculate tax paid. The previous one we discussed estimated tax, that means income tax for the year. So now tax paid, tax paid mean what we have paid for first three quarters of this year as well as last year last quarter amount. So children this one also they can give you in two different ways. Uh, some questions you can see like this in your question paper if our period is ending 31st March 2023. Right. If our period is ending 31st March 2023, they will mention like this income tax paid for 2021 and 2. That means how much that they have paid for last year, last quarter. And again our period is ending 31st March means starting 1st April for this 1st April 2022 and ending 31st March 2023. For that period, how much we have paid? They don't mention like uh, what are the quarters, right? They don't mention in your question paper what are the quarters. But since now you know, you can understand this is last year, last quarter. This is for last year, last quarter. This is for last year, last quarter. And again, this amount, this 6,400, this is for first three quarters. First three quarters of this year. First three quarters of this year. Okay, so then, for, uh, even though they have mentioned 2022-3, you should know this is first three quarters of this year only because as I explained, we pay uh, estimated income tax this year. Last quarter income tax still we have not uh, paid, right? Because we can pay only first three quarters of current year. Then uh, here even though they have mentioned 22 to 20, 23, you need to understand this is only for the first three quarters of this year. First three quarters of this year and again last year, last quarter answer. This is how uh, they can give you tax paid answer. This is actually children one method. If they give like this, actually your question is easy. You can understand, okay, this is for the last year, last quarter. But this part you need to keep in mind. In your question paper, they don't mention. You need to understand if they mentioned previous year, that means last year, last quarter amount. And again here, for this year means, current year means first three quarters of this year. As I mentioned, last quarter amount you need to pay during next year, first quarter. That's the reason. Uh, is it clear, children? Uh, this income tax paid dancer. So, this is the one method, right? And the second method, let's go and see what is the second method, right? Uh, the second method, they don't give you properly uh, the two different amounts for the last year, last quarter and this year amount. So, here we can see only one value, right? We can see only one value that is income tax paid only one value. So, we need to identify what is the paid amount for first three quarters of this year 
as well as last year, last quarter paid amount. Uh, for that, they will provide some additional information children. This part will be given in your child balance and you will have to refer your additional information to check how much they have paid for last year, last quarter and the amount for first three quarters of this year. As I mentioned, the basic concept you can't forget here because tax paid mean always tax paid for first three quarters of this year and again the last year last quarter paid amount right and again last year last quarter amount then now this question income tax we know only the common value that is 8000 right uh, here in the uh, in your additional information they will tell 1600 right 1600 paid for the previous year so question uh, in your question, they will mention 1,600 paid for the previous year and the payment for first three quarters for the current year. Okay, then 1,600 for last year, last quarter. 1,600 is paid for last year, last quarter. Then the remaining amount which is 6,400. 6,400 that is the paid amount for any guest children what is this 6,400 this is for last year last quarter because they have mentioned here paid for the previous year so then 6,400 what is this this is the paid amount for first three quarters of current year so you need to identify, you will have to calculate like this if your question uh, information if it is given like this. It can be either previous way, in this method very clearly they mention what is the amount paid for this period and again this period and again the last year, right? Well, last year, last quarter amount and the this year amount. But in second method, they do not give like this. One value will be given as income tax paid. But definitely under additional information, they will uh, give you how much they have paid for last year, last quarter. So when you deduct that amount, the remaining amount is the paid amount for this year. Paid amount for this year means first three quarters of this year. Uh, hope now you can understand the meaning of tax paid. So the first one we discussed, estimated income tax. That means income tax for the year, income tax for that four uh, quarters, if not for the 12 month of period, then we came to income tax paid, sorry, then we came to tax paid. So tax paid mean tax paid for first three quarters of this year and again uh, last year, last quarter paid amount. Then our third one, provision for income tax. So, this provision for income tax also we have because of this, the way we pay income tax. If I go back, so here last quarter income tax as I mentioned, last year income tax you will have to pay during next accounting period. So, when you prepare your financial statements, you will have to estimate your income tax for the last quarter of this year. You will have to estimate your income tax based on the profit for your final quarter. When you prepare your financial statements, uh, you need to write that as provision for income tax. Right? So, this is provision for income tax. So, this amount will be paid during the first quarter of next year. So, children, your exam paper, then same story, right? They have done the same provision last year, right? Last year, last quarter income tax, they have estimated like that and made a provision. Uh, that answer will be given in your question paper. So, provision for income tax means simply estimated income tax for last year, last quarter. 
okay estimated income tax for last year last quarter that's the meaning of provision for income tax children you complain income tax adjustment is hard because you don't uh, already you didn't know the meaning of these things because all these estimated income tax tax paid provision for income tax all these terms will be given in your question paper then you don't understand anything properly now you can understand estimated income tax means income tax for the year then uh, in tax paid mean what you have paid for first three quarters of this year as well as last year last quarter answer then provision for income tax means what how much you have estimated for your last year last quarter so let's write here provision for income tax means estimated income tax estimated income tax estimated income tax for last year last quarter last year last quarter so children this is the meaning of provision for income tax so provision for income tax means estimated income tax for last year last quarter right this is the meaning of provision for income tax your question they will mention the time period also but you keep in mind always estimated income tax for the last year last quarter means provision for income tax let's do one question then you can understand uh, how to Uh, record this provision for income tax how to consider this provision for income tax for our calculations right then based on this provision and again how much actually we have paid for last year last quarter based on what children based on how much we have actually paid for last year last quarter and the amount we have estimated for last year last quarter we have either under provision or over provision right if your provision you need to look at your provision if your provision is lower than paid amount right if your provision is lower than paid amount then we have under provision under provision in your question paper children you need to understand whether it's under provision or over provision you get marks also for recognizing correctly whether it's under provision or over provision if not you are unable to calculate the correct answer therefore you need to know very clearly how to decide under provision or over provision as i mentioned children this is provision you need, you are going to decide whether it's under provision or over provision therefore you always look at your provision value so actually we are going to compare here two things that is your provision answer you need to compare your provision provision for income tax as i mentioned they will give you provision for income tax which is last year estimated income tax answer for last quarter and again uh income tax paid income tax paid income tax paid for which quarter children income tax paid for last year last quarter last year last quarter understood so you need to compare two things to decide whether it's under provision or over provision what are they provision which is given in your question paper definitely they will give and again income tax paid for last year last quarter so when you compare these two if your provision is lower than actually paid amount that's called under provision let's do one calculation one question we we'll assume right provision is 1500 right your provision is 1500 and again income tax paid amount is 2000 income tax paid amount is 2000 right provision is 1500 and income tax paid amount is 2000 see now uh, provision is lower right so provision lower means under provision 
right provision is lower than paid amount means under provision is it clear children how to decide under provision or over provision so the, this example right uh, under provision means as i mentioned here provision is lower than actually paid amount for the last year last quarter so if provision is lower than tax paid amount for last year last quarter that's under provision now let's see how to decide uh, if not how to recognize over provision uh, over provision as i mentioned again you need to compare provision for income tax uh, with the tax paid for last year last quarter amount so here provision provision we should compare children with tax paid for tax paid for last year last quarter last year last quarter you will have to compare two things as i mentioned provision and again tax paid for last year last quarter we'll assume provision is this time 2300 and you have paid tax 2000 provision is 2300 and again tax paid for last year last quarter 2000 now provision is greater your provision is greater than tax paid amount so it's over provision it's very easy right provision is over the uh, higher than tax paid amount right then it's very easy provision is greater than tax paid amount that means over provision you don't have to worry always write like this and see which amount is the higher if provision is higher that's over provision if provision is lower that's under provision now we will have to decide whether we need to add or minus also for our calculation if it's under provision the meaning of under provision is this provision is not enough your provision is not enough if provision is not enough children this is common sense also if provision is not enough we need to add because your provision is not enough so under provision we need to add i'll tell where to add still you don't know when we do the calculation i'll explain again but now keep in mind if it's under provision that means provision is not enough if provision is not enough we need to add and again over provision right over provision means provision is more than enough provision is more than enough so your provision is more than enough now if it's more than enough you can minus you need to deduct so under provision we add if it's over provision since it's more than enough you need to minus hope this is clear right we discuss estimated income tax that means income tax for the year and again tax paid that means tax paid for first three quarters of this year and again last year last quarter amount then we came to provision for income tax provision for income tax means income tax estimated amount right provision for income tax means income tax estimated amount for last year last quarter then we have under provision or over provision if provision is lower under provision then we should add because under provision mean provision is not enough and again if it's low uh, over provision right and again if it's over provision we need to minus we should deduct because your provision is more than enough then uh, we can go to uh, note now children all the basic concepts that you should know uh, to get the correct answer for your income tax adjustment we have discussed then Uh, you should know how to record and again how to do a calculation for this income tax adjustment in your company account question right so this is how you need to write income tax adjustment uh, another day i'll explain the meaning of these notes and how to write these notes since we are discussing today income tax i'll explain little bit how to write this income tax uh, note normally 
these notes you will be given marks also children for these notes therefore you should know how to write these notes then uh, related to income tax first of all you need to write income tax on profit for the year simply estimated income tax if not income tax for the year right uh, tax on profit for the year that answer you need to write after that under provision or over provision we should adjust right let's do a question then you can understand how to apply these things so this is our question right this is our question uh, when you read the question there are a few important things that you need to uh, understand the first thing is time period the first thing is time period so our time period is 2022 to 23 right our period is starting 1st april and ending 31st march uh, starting 1st april 2022 and ending 31st march 2023 then we are given income tax paid amount and again provision for income tax answer and income tax liability and again the uh, paid amount for last year last quarter even if I tell like this, you don't understand these things properly. Let's do a question, then I'll explain step by step. Uh, as I mentioned, you should write this income tax under note. Normally, if we follow the normal order, income tax adjustment comes under note number 3. Sometimes it can be note number 2 also because if we are not given other income, then first you write profit before tax, then children. Uh, second one your second adjustment is income tax but we will assume we have other income also according to the normal order income tax means your third adjustment if not income tax is your uh, note number three so then let's write note number three income tax income tax then first of all we should write estimated income tax we should write estimated income tax and we need to write this is in thousand rupees also right without writing last three zeros so on top i'll write thousand rupees estimated income tax let's go back to our question and see uh, the estimated income tax answer for this period in this question they have mentioned income tax liability for the year 2022-23 right that amount is given uh, 10,000 right that amount is given here 10,000 so this 2022-23 year income tax liability 2 to 3 means our accounting period right 2 to 3 means our accounting period estimated income tax if not income tax liability answer is given so we can start with this 10,000 we take only 10,000 without three zeros this is 10 million but we take only 10,000 then estimated income tax is 10,000 estimated income tax is it clear children as i explain income tax for the year that answer is given 10,000 in this question that answer is 10,000 in this question then we need to decide over provision or under provision that's our second step first step you should write estimated income tax then we should go to check whether it's over provision or under provision let's do a uh, working to recognize whether it's under provision or over provision but children uh, after doing several questions uh, you don't have to write like this always but uh, since this is our first question i'm going to write and explain how to decide whether it's under provision or over provision uh, who can remember uh, what are the things that we need to write here our uh, children we should write here provision provision and again provision and tax paid for tax paid for last year last quarter last year last quarter 
we are going to compare these two and decide whether it is over provision or under provision. Uh, our question, this is our question. Now, we should check what is the provision for income tax answer. So, here given provision for income tax 31st March 2022, that means last year, right, last year. Uh, already I explained this provision mean last year, last quarter estimated amount. So, then that answer is given 2300. So, provision is 2300. Then we can write here provision is 2300. Now, we should check how much they have paid for last year, last quarter. Right? We need to check how much they have paid for last year, last quarter. Let us check that amount also. In this question, they have mentioned final income tax liability for the year 2021 and 2 has been agreed at 2800 and paid. So, this is the last year, last quarter paid amount. Uh, 2021 and 2 mean last year. Last quarter paid amount is 2800. Now, we can write last year, last quarter paid amount is 2800. Provision is 2300 and again tax paid for last year, last quarter 2800. Then paid amount is higher. If not, Provision is lower. Provision lower means children? Under provision, right? Provision is lower means under provision. Uh, the amount is 2800 minus 2300 means 500. Then we can write here, since this is under provision, if you can remember under provision, we should add. Look at here, under provision we should add because your provision is not enough. Then plus under provision, plus under provision. If you want uh, how to get this answer, you can write within brackets 2800 minus 2300. Then we have 500 under provision as I mentioned. Since provision is not enough, we need to add. Then 10,500. Then 10,500. This 10,500, right? This 10,500 answer only we should write in PNL as income tax expense for this year. 10,500 is the income tax expense uh, for your current year. Then, this is how we write this 10,500 in PNL. Let us prepare uh, extracted PNL to write this uh, income tax expense answer. This is extracted PNL. Extracted PNL. We have profit before tax. Profit before tax. After that, minus income tax. After that, minus income tax. Since we wrote that is under note number 3, you can mention note number here. If this is note number 2, you can write here number 2. Then we should minus income tax, which is 10,500, which is 10,500 right your income tax answer for this year your income tax expense is 10500 so first part we are done children right first part we are done so uh, normally additional information you should write in two places at least two places in company account same information we write several places but uh, at least two places you need to write so the one place is this pnl like this, we have, uh, we need to write some amount under uh, as current asset or it may be as current liabilities in SOFP also. So, this is the PNL answer and at the same time, we should write some amount in your SOFP also. Let us check uh, what is the amount and whether we need to write that is under current asset or current liabilities. I will explain that also. Now, 
again we should take the estimated income tax answer. Most of the time children get confused and they take this final answer which is 10,500. Don't take this answer children. Once we are done this adjustment, directly you go and write this final answer which is 10,500 in this question in your PNL. Right? After that, that amount is done. Don't take that amount again because if you take this answer, you are getting wrong answer for our next calculation. As usual, we started with this estimated income tax. Let's take this answer. Go to workings. We can write again estimated income tax. Estimated income tax. That is estimated income tax 1000 rupees 10,000 10,000 that is the estimated income tax answer. Then we should minus here tax paid for this year that is the important thing children tax paid for this year tax paid for this year means only first three quarters of this year. Because as I explained earlier, we can pay a maximum three quarters of current year because final quarter income tax will have to pay in, uh, during next year. Therefore, we should minus here tax paid for this year, if not tax paid for uh, first three quarters. Let us write tax paid for this year, then easy to keep in mind tax paid for this year. Paid for this year mean how much we have paid relevant to this period children. Not the amount we have paid within this year. Paid amount for this year, for this first three quarters. Tax paid for first three quarters. I think it is better. Ne? Let's write tax paid for first three quarters. Tax paid for first three quarters. Tax paid for this year also correct, right? Tax paid for first three quarters. We should check our question. We are given the total tax paid answer. Income tax paid total amount is given 9,400. In that 9,400 includes 2,800 which is paid for last year, last quarter, right? The 2,800 paid for last year, last quarter. Then we should minus 9,400 minus 2,800. This 9,400 is the tax paid amount for uh, total tax paid amount. It includes 2,800 that is for, for the last year, last quarter. So, let us uh, calculate and see. You also take your calculator minus this amount and check what is the answer. Uh, then we are getting 3,000, uh, 6,600. 6,600. When you deduct 9,400 minus 2,800, we are getting 6,600. Then the balance amount is 3,400. So, children estimated income tax is 10,000, but we have paid only uh, 6,600 for this year. We have paid for this period only 6,600. Then the remaining amount 3,400 is tax payable. Remaining amount is tax payable. Tax payable 3,400. Hope this is clear, right? Estimated income tax as I mentioned the original amount you have to take. Then tax paid for first three quarters of this year, if not tax paid for this year. That is, you can calculate, we are given in this question, total tax paid amount. That means 9,400. From that, you can minus what they have paid for last year, last quarter. Then we are getting 6,600 as the tax paid amount for this year, first three quarters. So, this is the payable amount for this year, last quarter. As I mentioned, this year last quarter amount will have to pay during next year. So, this is the payable amount for this last quarter. 
since this is a payable amount, right? Since this is a payable amount, you need to write as tax payable in your SOFB, right? You should write this amount extracted SOFB. extracted SOFP. What is this extracted SOFP and PNL children? What is this extracted? Extracted means not the full one. We write only selected area, right? So, we need to write here current liabilities, current liabilities. Under current liabilities, we have tax payable, tax payable. You should write this tax payable, this 3400, right? You need to write this 3400 as your tax payable amount here. 3400. Is it clear? So, first we need to calculate estimated income tax. Then again, under provision, no over provision. Then we get income tax expense for the year. That means PNL answer. After that, you write uh, that PNL answer here. Then again, you should go to your estimated income tax amount. And you need to check how much we have paid for this year first three quarters. The balance amount is payable amount according to this question. It can be a receivable amount also if you have paid more than your payable amount then we should write under current assets. So, this is our first question. This is how you should prepare financial statements finally related to income tax. Here uh, income tax expense in PNL and the balance tax payable amount under current liabilities in SOFB. Hope this is clear. Most of the past paper questions are like this children. Now you can try past paper questions. You can refer here uh, what I explained. You can make your own notes. Uh, then again it's easy when while you are doing questions if you get stuck you can check your notes and uh, get the answers. Then let's discuss one more question uh, to decide whether you are uh, whether you can cal calculate answers correctly right N another question let us do then you can evaluate yourself then you can understand whether you are okay with income tax and as usual right this question also we need to check uh, income tax paid amount is given and again the provision for income tax given then again estimated income tax liability and the final uh, quarter, last year final quarter paid amounts are given. Then uh, as usual, we need to write this one also in note, note number 3. Note number 3, income tax. Note number 3, income tax. Then first thing is estimated income tax. Estimated income tax. Estimated income tax. This one also let us write in 1000 rupees. Let us write in 1000 rupees. Estimated income tax. Then we need to write whether it is under provision or over provision. Then this question. Estimated income tax. Income tax liability for the year 2022 and 23. So, this 7800, right? This 7800 is the estimated income tax. Then, if anyone wants uh, these questions, these two questions as a PDF, I will include that is in the description also. Then, children, you can download and uh, do these questions again. So, uh, estimated income tax is 7800. Then we can write 7800 estimated income tax. Then we need to check whether it is under provision or over provision. For that we should compare provision and again tax paid for last year, last quarter tax paid for last year, last quarter.
tax paid for last year, last quarter. Then, let us go to our question and check uh, tax paid amount, right? Tax paid amount. Uh, sorry, provision. Provision for income tax is given 3,900. Right, provision for income tax as at 31st March 2022 given 3900. Then, this 3900 you should write as your provision 3900. Now, we should check how much, right. Uh, provision is 3900. Now, we should check tax paid for last year, last quarter amount. Then, uh, in last sentence, the final income tax liability for the year 21 and 2. 21 and 2 means according to this question, last year, last quarter amount uh, has been agreed at 2,900. So, then 2,900 is a paid amount for last year, last quarter, right? Uh, paid amount for last year, last quarter is 2,900. Then we can write tax paid for last year, last quarter is 2,900, 2,900. This is the tax paid amount for last year, last quarter. Then, now your provision is greater. Now, it is time to decide whether it is under provision or over provision. So, this time provision is greater. So, provision is greater means provi over provision. Your provision is higher means over provision. Then, if it is over provision, we should minus. Then, we can write minus over provision, minus over provision. Uh, over provision is 1000, 3900 minus 2900 means over provision is 1000. Since this is over provision, we should minus. Then we are getting here 6800. 6800. This is your income tax expense for this year. If not, income tax expense for the current year, which is recorded in PNL. This is your PNL answer. Then before forget, let us write this is in a PNL. We can prepare extracted PNL. extracted PNL. Children, you can write on top when we prepare our question, name and the time period, everything, but this is extracted. So, we write only profit before tax. Profit before tax, then minus income tax. Then minus income tax. This is also under note number 3. Then we should write here final answer which is 6800. This 6800 we should write here. Then first part we are done. Income tax adjustment first part we are done. Then we should check whether any tax payable or receivable amount is there. For that again you should write estimated income tax. Again, same estimated income tax. Not the final answer what we calculated children. I have seen most of the time children get confused and they write this final answer. Please do not take this answer. You always start with estimated income tax answer. That means this original amount given in your question paper which is 7800 in this question. Estimated income tax estimated income tax that is 7800 this is also 1000 rupees then we should check how much of tax we have paid for this year tax paid for this year that means tax paid for first three quarters of this year tax paid for first three quarters of this year, first three quarters of this year. We need to check how much we have paid for 
first three quarters of this year. Let us go back to our question. Uh, income tax paid including 2021 and 22, including last year, we have paid total 12,500. Total 12,500, we have paid including last year. Then, Twelve thousand five hundred. The total paid amount, right? Twelve thousand five hundred total paid amount, uh, including last year, last quarter. From this total tax paid amount, right? From this total tax paid amount, we should minus the amount which was paid for last year, last quarter. Let's go to our question and check. Uh, the last sentence, if not number 2, right, uh, we are given final income tax uh, has been agreed and paid for last year, last quarter, that is 2,900. So, we should minus 2,900 from here. This 2,900 is the paid amount for last year, last quarter. Then 12,500 minus 2,900. Uh, rather than just watching this video, children, take your calculator, you also calculate and see. So, then you also can participate actively for this calculation. Then you also can calculate and say, see, right? You also can uh, calculate and see whether you can understand income tax adjustment. Then when we get 12,500 minus 2,900, we get 9,600. We get 9,600. Then children, 9,600 is greater than estimated income tax. 2020 year, we got a question like this. Most of the children got confused with this because they have recorded always tax payable, tax payable only. Uh, but ch children, here you have paid more than your payable amount. Then, uh, according to your syllabus, according to your calculation, this amount we need to consider as tax receivable, right? You need to consider this as tax recoverable amount because you have paid tax paid for first three quarters of this year. That amount is greater than estimated income tax answer. Therefore, we are getting here negative answer. Do not worry whether it is negative or positive. Just try to understand the meaning here. You have paid more than your payable amount. If not, you have paid some extra amount. That extra amount you should recover from uh, Inland Revenue Department. right? Therefore, this time we do not have tax payable. Instead of that, we have tax recoverable which is under current. Any guest children, that amount we should write under current assets, not current liabilities. The previous one we wrote under current liabilities, right? But this time you need to write that amount under current assets. So, we are getting here 1800. We are getting 1800, 7800 minus 9600. This 1800 you should write under current assets as tax recoverable amount. If you check 2020 year past paper, income tax adjustment is like this. Then uh, we can write this is also in extracted SOFP. Extracted SOFP, this time current assets. This time current assets, tax recoverable. If not even tax receivable, also you can write tax recoverable or tax receivable 1800. This is a current asset. Sometimes children get confused. Are we getting this amount from Inland Revenue Department? Like that, children, do not worry. According to your calculation, if you have paid more than recoverable amount, that is your tax recoverable amount. Right? You need to write that under current assets. Most of the time you get current liabilities, that means tax payable, but it can be like this also. Hope this question is also clear. So, in this question, we uh, discuss how to recognize over provision and again 
if we if we have paid more than payable amount then we are getting tax recoverable so how to get uh, that tax recoverable amount and how to record it make sure to write that amount under current assets children always don't think without thinking don't write under current liabilities if you have paid like this question if you have paid more than your payable amount it's a uh, receivable amount and need to write under current assets hope this question was so clear as i mentioned i have uh, mentioned all these two questions uh, in the description uh, column then you can check there and you can download uh, these two questions and you can do uh, then this is the summary before we uh, end up our income tax discussion these are the things we discuss these are the important things that you need to understand estimated income tax and again tax paid provision for income tax over provision and again under provision then again tax payable and if not tax receivable or it may be tax recoverable uh, these things if you can understand your income tax adjustment is not hard uh, after watching this uh, video children you open your past paper book and try to do some questions if you have some uh, difficulties or anything you can mention in the comment section or uh, what any other important things are there that you want me to explain these things also you can mention uh, see you children